Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Well, the market was uh, fairly slow today. S&P 500 off about 0.4% by the end of the day. Kind of not going a lot, uh, kind of not a lot going on, but kind of a lot going on. So there have been a few stocks that have been um, driving the market or at least influencing it, but in some ways you wouldn't know it. So take a look at this chart of UPS. This was a couple of days ago. They had earnings, uh, you know, as of yesterday morning. The stock gap massively lower and continued lower through the 200-day moving average and continued further lower today. That was one of the stocks that helped drag the market down yesterday. And why is that? Because uh, it's just kind of the same as why the transportation stocks were thought to be uh, market leaders, market leading indicators. Because with UPS, if if people are not buying as many things and getting them delivered, UPS is going to be the first company to show that. And then the rest of the companies, it's going to come out in their earnings that, oh, yeah, we didn't sell as much stuff. Now, that said, uh, things are rosier on the other side of the spectrum. Microsoft, let's pull up their chart, MSFT. They had some pretty darn banner earnings today, and they gapped up massively Although uh, the market ended up shaking a lot of that off, the market overall, and focusing on some other things. Uh, you know, the banking se sector, it looks like uh, today we live to fight another day. As far as numbers coming out, uh, the rest of this week has some important stuff. We have the GDP and P P e no PCE coming out this week. And then, of course, next week is what we're all leading up to is the monthly unemployment number with still a massive slew of other earnings. There were a massive amount of earnings coming out today in some of the largest companies, Meta and, and some other ones that are coming out overnight. And we are really in the thick of earnings season. So there's really a lot to focus on between earnings of individual really big stocks, some of the economic numbers coming out, and the banks. These are the keys. We keep watching those, and we've got our finger on the pulse. I hope that helps. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.